In this video let me show you how to accomplish bypassing Google verification in all Samsung Galaxy devices. As you can see this is the Samsung Galaxy S8 with the Android security patch level from June 2019 and with Android 9. On that example let me show you how to remove factor recent protection, how to activate the device without the Google account. So, first of all, of course, it's worth to try all three methods. So you can, for example, enter the following website, hardbusiness.info, find your model, choose bypass Google verification, and you can try all of those tutorials, all of those instructions. But as you can see, there is no instructions with Android 9 and security patch level from June. You can also check out that there is no Samsung combination firmware for that device. So in that case, you need to perform the following instructions you need to go to the email.info here you need to enter your email so you can check out your email i number on your device by going back to the first step here let's choose emergency call and let's enter here the asterisk pound zero six pound as you can see imei number pops up so here let me enter the imei number let me choose i'm not a robot and tap check here you've got your device, let's make sure that this is your device, Samsung Galaxy S8 in my case. Then let's scroll down and choose here the Samsung FRP removal, let's just click it. Here you've got the information about this removal, this is the cause of this removal, but it's really easy and it works for every Android security patch level and every model of Samsung Galaxy, so it's really worth it. Here you need to also click the following instructions to read them and to install a few things. Let me do it later. But for now it's good to make an order. So let's just click make an order. Here you can use the PayPal to pay for that order. And you can just wait until you will have your password and login to your Octopus software. Sometimes you need to wait a few hours. So it's really worth to do it right now. Then if you are waiting for your password, you can enter this website, Samsung FRP Remove. Here let's read carefully those instructions. As you can see, this operation will remove the factor reset protection, so it's really useful. Then you need to wait for the login and password, and then you need to proceed to the following instructions. At the very beginning, let's download the Octopus Suite right here, and also the Samsung drivers. So as you can see this is the link to Octopus. Let's just tap download and you need to wait until the download will be completed. Let me pause it. I've got my Octopus downloaded. Here you can also use the Samsung drivers. Let's just use the download button. Then of course you need to go to your downloads and here you need to unpack the Samsung drivers and you need to install them. Wait a few seconds. I've got my drivers installed, so let me don't proceed it. But let's make sure that you've got your drivers installed on your PC. And then let's install the Octopus. Here I've got my Octopus installed, so let me open my Octopus right here. And here we need to open the following support and options. Here let's enter the username and password. So if you use the PayPal if you wait for the order and if you have your username and password you have to enter those two data right here and then let's choose check balance. Alright in my case my balance is 220 credits so that's enough for this operation. Alright now let's open the Samsung tab right here and here let's connect your Samsung to your PC. Of course you need to have your cable and this cable should be connected to your PC. Here I have such a cable. Just here tap OK. Let's connect the device. Alright, the device is connected. Let's wait a few seconds.
All right. So now let's go to the Samsung tab. Let's choose the factory service reset FRP and unlock. That's what we need. All right. And from the following options, you need to select the factory reset FRP reactivation right here. So let me do it. Let's just click it. Wait until the operation will be completed. Here we've got the disclaimer note. So as you can see, you need to proceed 220 credits. So my balance is exactly the same. Let me tap yes. As you can see, the operation is done. So now you need to reboot the device manually. So let me just disconnect my device. Let's go here next. Let's try to bypass the operation. Let's skip for now. Tap next, tap next again. As you can see, there is no verification panel, so here you can skip signing into Google account. So it's really great that you can do it. Tap skip, skip right once more. Tap next right here, more, more and accept. Choose not now, skip anyway. Let me just try to activate the device to check out if I can do it without the Google account. Let me skip the Samsung account as well. Skip one more time. And all done. Choose right now finish. As you can see now you can use your device. Let me just also check the settings. Here you can check out the accounts and backup. And as you can see there is any Google account right here. So it's a good sign. You can also go back and you can choose about phone and as you can see here you've got the model number software information and other stuff so as you can see this is android version 9 so all necessary links will be in the description you can use it and that's it everything went well thank you for watching please subscribe our channel leave thumbs up under the video